I use the syllables. I use exact keywords that were there in syllables. The objective was simple. I should know about uh, like enough about every word so that I can write a let's say 15 word answer, uh, 15 mark answer, or let's say 10 mark answer. Hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of RBI Interview Series 2022. Today, with me is Biyani. Ashe has cleared the examination in his first attempt, but usse zada bahut dusri cheeze hain jo important hain. Number one, he's not a UPSC aspirant. Number two, he just uh, passed out from his college in 2021. So unke paas work ex bhi nahi hai aur bahut zada gap bhi nahi hai between his graduation and his selection in RBI. Number three, koi drop nahi hai studies mein. Uh, he filled that gap between 2021 and 2022 through CFA level one also. So it's a very good continuity which you know that he's been uh, working towards his goal of RBI very very smartly. So we will discuss this today. It's going to be a very interesting session. There are very good points that Ashe has which if you can use in your upcoming examination, I'm very sure you'll do very well. So first of all, congratulations Ashe. Thank you sir. So first of all, if you can introduce yourself to the students, what uh, is the educational background? Kya hai? and how did you go forward with it? Uh, sure, sir. So, um, hi everyone. I am Ashe Biyani. I graduated, uh, so I am an economics graduate from IIT Bombay. I pursued CFA and uh, I had realized that I did not want to work in a private job because of particularly the scale of impact that we can get at a private job is not as good as the one we can get in uh, like a government organization. And given my background, uh, RBI was the natural choice uh, for me to pursue. So, uh, if you had already started with CFA, level 1 bhi complete ho gaya tha. Why did you not pursue it further ki yaar pehle isko complete kar lete hai, then I'll think about RBI. The CFA, uh, from my understanding of it, uh, is very uh, uh, specific to corporate world. I mean, it's it has good or uh, like value in the corporate world. Uh, which would not have, uh, and I realized I did not want to go in that direction only. So hmm. that's why I did not further pursue it. Uh, you told me that you started preparing, you came to know about RBI and you thought about writing it when the notification came out. Now that's a very small amount of time for a lot of students. And normally, people think that UPSC wale hai, who have had 3-4 years of experience with these exams, they can pull off. Kar paate hai. What was the reason very honestly, yeah, you could clear phase one in those two months time, not even two months, one and a half or one month only. So how did you use your strengths? How did you overcome your weaknesses there? So, sir, I, I had known about my strengths. Uh, I had given CAT or earlier and I had secured a very good percentile in it. So I knew that the QRE section or quant reasoning in English, I, I was a decent at it. I could perform. I just practiced it. For uh, current affairs, uh, I like uh, just went through the past three or uh, past six months of current affairs, and uh, I revised and re-revised it or till like the questions were so obvious to me that I did not have to think a lot on it. Uh, that was my strategy for uh, phase one or uh, that, and like I gave a lot of mocks as well. So phase one se pehle GA kiya hoga. Normally, uh, students kya karte hain? How did you cover the entire GA, six months and revise three months of GA before phase one in that one month only? Uh, so actually, uh, I think so. I did find GA very boring. Hmm. And uh, what I did was I used to like complete a, a, a magazine or monthly magazine. And then I used to go through the questions presented at the back. That provided a very good uh, revision strategy for me. Hmm. So that like next time when I would revise something, I would al already remember that I have attempted a question on this. Hmm. Uh, secondly, so uh, I mean, it is boring and I just had to go through it, like keeping myself in control. Or, uh, I, there's no shortcut to it. <laughs> uh, you were telling me about mocks. Specifically, mocks ko kaise use kiya tumne apni preparation ko enhance karne ke? Uh, so multiple things so firstly uh, while giving a mock i always used to compare the percentile in which i was falling in every section and uh, i mean uh, 
since it's all relative something that is difficult for me is difficult for everyone so i did not uh, look at the absolute marks but at the relative rank or percentile rank in every section and uh, the sections in which i was falling behind so uh, let's say i knew that reasoning particularly i was falling behind i focus a little bit more on it uh, and th then there was also time management so for example uh, if i knew i was falling behind in a particular section especially in qre time management there becomes very important like you don't have to focus on the difficult questions you can simply fetch the low hanging fruits which are easy uh, so that is how i use mocks uh, to like understand what my weaknesses are and where is my competition uh, better than uh, me hum log thodi der pehle baat kar rahe the to i figured that uh, i felt it personally that you had in these two months you had a don't give up attitude very strongly imbibed in you बिकॉज एक डेढ़ महीने में पूरा सिलेबस कवर करना टू दी एक्सटेंट दैट यू कैन क्लियर द एग्जाम इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट यू आर टेलिंग मी अबाउट द मैराथन सेशन दैट यू सॉ वन नाइट बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन नाउ दैट इज समथिंग दैट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी यू नो एज अ टीचर एज वेल एज एज अ स्पेक्टेटर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कि आप एंड मोमेंट तक गिव अप नहीं कर रहे हो सो इफ यू कैन यू नो वी कैन रीलिव दैट मोमेंट कि एग्जैक्टली वॉट हैपन वन नाइट बिफोर द एग्जाम so so uh, uh like i had the uh, my sleeping cycle my sleep cycle was not very good in fact it was not at all regular as a result i could not sleep uh, at a particular time because i mean it was just random so since the uh, next day was my exam i had to sleep early i tried to but i could not and so i thought since i'm not sleeping why not just uh, like look at something that i know is important but i have not completed enough so i just uh, like went to youtube and uh, uh, went through the marathon sessions and the next day in exam i was sleep deprived but that marathon sessions that i had covered that were very important for the exam i mean it was just a bit of accident and luck but it was uh, like really helpful hmm uh phase 2 ki taraf thoda sa aa jate hain you told me that you used the syllabus a lot uh, before phase 2 so how exactly did you use the syllabus between phase 1 and phase 2 to prepare for the exam so so i uh, so like i had or uh, i knew the course had a lot of content uh, and i also knew i don't have the time to like go through all of it so i used the syllabus i used exact keywords that were there in syllabus the objective was simple i should know about uh, like enough about every word so that i can write a let's say 15 word answer uh, 15 mark answer or let's say 10 mark answer that was the objective and i used the syllabus uh, that way only so for, uh, let's say uh, in the second paper or uh, in the third paper finance and management there's a topic of global financial crisis its impact on india and uh, i mean the actions uh, the uh, that india took so i just uh, went through it and i knew like i uh, went through the syllabus and i just uh, tried to cover enough material that i can write an answer if this question comes mm -hmm. and uh, that is what i followed in uh, gen uh, finance management as well as english let's talk about mocks in detail because uh, you told me ki reverse engineering uh, tumne bahut acche se use kari and that actually works when you are not thoroughly prepared for the exam jab aapne ek do mahine hi padha hai how did you use reverse engineering to remember more through mocks so mocks are very helpful or uh, one first thing is they provide a guiding light or uh, towards the exam so for example what kind of questions can be asked they also provide a guiding light towards the syllabus so for from a particular syllabus from particular keyword what kind of questions can be asked those also you can see or uh, in mocks and uh, get to know them and third thing is so uh, like uh, so let's say there's a topic and you don't know uh, like the specific answer to a particular question once you have gone through that mock and then you see the answer then there's a very less chance that you would actually forget that uh, answer for that mock and uh, that used to be very helpful so i use mocks because uh, I, i knew i not like i did not have a lot of time to cover all the syllabus so uh, i use mocks to uh, see what my preparation is and also like see uh, if there is some topic that i have not covered but is important from the point of view of exam i can cover it through mocks uh, so most of the mocks all uh, along with the answers also contain the content and information and that also used to be very helpful okay okay 
थोड़ा स्मार्ट स्टडीज के बारे में डिस्कस कर सकते हैं बिकॉज आई फील दैट यू इंटीग्रेटेड लॉट ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ऑफ स्मार्ट स्टडीज टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर डिसेंटली प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन ओके सबका हंड्रेड परसेंट सिलेबस तो किसी का भी कवर नहीं हो पाता है सो वॉट वर द एलिमेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू यू विच मेड श्योर कि आप उस कम टाइम में स्मार्टली पढ़ के यू आर इंक्रीजिंग योर प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ सक्सेस so so uh, firstly as i said it was the syllabus itself i tried to cover like the syllabus completely um, in a manner that for every word mentioned in the syllabus i had enough content to write uh, an answer on it secondly so it was a lot of uh, previous year questions and mocks so previous year questions uh, they provide a very good uh, direction in which the pattern is moving towards like what kind of questions can be asked in the exam right so what i did was i went through the syllabus or uh, sorry i went through the pyqs and uh, like i checked uh, what kind of questions are being asked so for example the importance of government schemes in the syllabus you cannot uh, guess that government schemes are going to be so much important in exams that is something only comes through uh, previous year questions right and at the same time mocks also provided like some kind of information as to what kind of questions you can expect and if you have missed any topic you should uh, get it thirdly sir um, i also believe it's not just about completing the syllabus you also need to be confident when you go into the exam uh, one thing i always told myself was if a question is difficult for me it is difficult for everyone it's not i mean either i'm missing a very important point or which i'm not able to relate or recall or it's difficult for everyone and therefore i don't need to focus too much on it and secondly uh, when i went into the exam room i told myself whatever there is to cover i have covered it in like to some extent or more but i have covered it so i can write on it i like so that kind of confidence provided me with a buffer so that i could think and like come up with new things in exam itself what were the mistakes you made you must have made some mistakes also when you were preparing so the biggest mistake i had made was not uh, preparing for answer writing or specifically uh i think i overestimated my uh, ability to write answers and as a result i did not focus too much on it uh, finally uh, when the results came when the marks came um, it was very clear that my answers were not as good and that was the weakest section uh, as such in those uh, things so that is some that was a fatal mistake and i could have easily been on the other side because of this mistake so kitna time normally according to you it takes or it would take for you for a person like you to master answer writing or to be better prepared at answer writing honestly sir i have not uh, I, I, even to this day i don't know how to write uh, good answers i had confidence because like at college and in school i had decent performance i could write answers that would fetch marks that is certainly not true in exam as the results have spoken uh with respect to the practice i think uh, i could have uh, like daily practice one uh, writing one answer and then reviewing it i think in over a month that could have been achieved but uh, as i said that's just a guess it is i have not tested this let's come to the interview 65 on 75 one of the highest scores that we've seen so far uh what were the reasons that made sure that you score such high marks कुछ एलिमेंट्स जो तुम्हें लगता हो बहुत स्टैंड आउट किए या फिर हाउ डिड द इंटरव्यू गो व्हाट वाज द गुड पॉइंट्स अबाउट द इंटरव्यू सो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग वाज एज यू यूज्ड टू से लेट्स नॉट लीव एनी स्टोन अनटर्न आई ट्राइड टू कवर एवरीथिंग दैट वाज बीइंग आस्क्ड इन इंटरव्यू सो सिंस आई हैड एक्सेस टू अ लॉट ऑफ इंटरव्यू ट्रांसक्रिप्ट्स आई कुड अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम वेयर सम क्वेश्चन इज कमिंग अ लॉट ऑफ देम वर प्रोफाइल वेव्स व्हिच आई हैड नो रिलेशन टू but most of them were let's say from a particular document of rbi or from current affairs or uh, or from uh, uh, let's say uh, news or uh, that is coming right uh, i prepared everything uh, there was to prepare even rbi website or speeches of governors that provided me a lot of confidence while going in interview just to the uh, like just to tell me that i have enough material there is uh, if there is anything to prepare i have prepared it in my final interview none of it was asked uh, but that provided me the essential confidence because of which i could answer the questions so that was
uh, in all honesty i was thrown off balance uh, like i think from fourth or fifth question of the interview that is not something i had prepared uh, at all so uh, i think confidence in the interview was very important secondly sir uh, i have always given a lot of importance to aesthetics of interview so being properly dressed um, so that you wear the right socks right shoes and uh, right dress that is very important and uh, i did not compromise on any bit of it okay uh normally students ke bahut kam bhi aa rahe hain they getting 26 25 23 also ek student ke 74 bhi aaye hain talking to the interviewers uh, your personal opinion what do you think is the reason that some student is getting 23 or 20 and another one is getting 74 as high as 74 and 75 so i think uh, it's a lot with respect to practice as well um uh, i have had a lot of practice giving interviews since i had like given a lot of interviews during internships in my college uh, so initially i also used to make the mistake wherein i thought the interviewers expect me to know everything and not knowing is a bad thing right so what i used to do was i tried to mislead the interviewer or i tried to let's say whatever i knew or whatever i could guess uh, and tell it to the interviewer slowly over time i realized oh, not knowing a thing is fine or uh, if you don't know a thing i mean interviewers don't expect you to know everything but like if you know about some so let's say if there is something you should definitely know about that's an entirely different thing uh, let's say i am a graduate from economics and if they ask me questions on economic theory that is something i am expected to know but uh, even in economics let's say they ask a very specific term which i don't know about let's say even like i could only have known about it if i had done phd they wouldn't mind they just want to hear it from me that i don't know and they can move on uh, very easily uh, i think a lot of it is simply because of lack of practice this is just one example where like it's a fatal mistake to try to mislead or to try to give a wrong answer when you can simply say you don't know but there are uh, other mistakes as well that people realize uh, Uh, mm-hmm. while practicing so i think a lot of it is because simply not practicing enough for the interview hmm. any last message that you would want to share with the students anything that you want to say based upon your experience ki kya acha kiya kya kharab kiya whatever you want to say i just uh, want to tell students that you should definitely have confidence in yourself uh, that is the most important element in this entire journey if you are confident you can prepare it you can even crack it or without or like a lot of problems there would definitely be times when you would feel that you have no hope or you have so like you're not performing enough but that is normal for every or for journey of every student like even the toppers or in every exam do feel that way or one like at one time or other so that is normal just be confident and give the exam so that's a lot for this session uh, thanks a lot for coming here bahut maza aaya tumse baat karke that is all for this episode of rb interview series 2022 i hope you liked it i have a small gift for uh, asha here it's a book called uh, by barack obama called as the audacity of hope because he has been very audacious in his studies in his preparation of rbi do dai mahine mein he cracked the examination open uh, through his smartness and never give up attitude so i think i'll write that only uh, always maintain the never give up attitude so i think that uh, sums up the entire interview as well this is for you thank you sir that is all for this session i hope you liked it if you have any comments any feedback any confusions any doubts you can mention it in the comment section below वीडियो पसंद आए तो डू नॉट फर्गेट टू लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल आई एल सी यू वेरी सून इन अनदर सेशन अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ आरबी इंटरव्यू सीरीज टिल देन टेक केयर बाय बाय